Hello everybody, welcome back to Nintendo Flips. My name is Jens and we're back at it again talking about flipping games to build a collection, no matter what collection you're building, whether it's 3DS, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, retro collection, new games. Uh, I just wanted to go ahead and this is more like of an informational kind of video, so just gonna talk about uh, how I went about building this collection that you got that I got back here. Everything that you see back there, probably about 90% of it has been paid through uh, me flipping items that I purchased over the last year and a half. And I just wanted to kind of maybe talk about it a little bit. I had some friends that asked me, well, I see you're buying all kinds of stuff and you're spending money and you're keeping some of it. So are, are you spending out of pocket? Uh, is this profit that you're using? Where is the profit coming from? How do you keep track of the profit? Um, so just want to talk about it a little bit here and to kind of give you my uh, opinion on, on the way that I do things here. So I've been buying things for about a year and a half from Shenyu. Uh, my first year I bought a lot of stuff. Uh, I collected a lot of things and uh, I kind of started just doing it out of, a, out of a challenge. You know, Nintendo was closing their 3DS uh, stores. I said, you know what would be cool to do is collect a 3DS collection. There's like 400 and something games, but uh, I mean, it was an expensive task. And I said, let's do it through buying used stuff, uh, flipping those items, using the profit to buy things, and then just keep buying and uh, flipping and buying things for the collection. So that's kind of what I did. I saw a bunch of YouTubers that were doing this at that time and I said, why not? Let's, uh, there's a market here, of course. There's a lot of people that sell used games and I ended up buying a lot of them. So we're just gonna take a quick look of uh, at the, what I did, what my collection was and the process that I went through it. So um, eventually uh, I, I was buying things for about a year. I decided, you know, after they finally opened up the borders this year, uh, I went home in uh, February. So I'm price charting, I had kind of like a, uh, itemized all the items. I put a video up here where I kind of did that and was talking about taking the collection home and then uh, flipping those items. So there was a tons, uh, tons of games, systems uh, that's, that were high value. I got really lucky. I picked up a bunch of Metal Gear games. I put a picture here. I had tons of Metal Gear games, uh, loose, complete in box and new that pay for a lot of the uh, games that we have back there. So I was really lucky. I'm still finding some, but not as many as I did during that first year but I'll put some price charting up here so you can see uh, what I am talking about. And uh, pretty much uh, what I was looking at is the, um, uh, this, this screen that you're looking at here is this is the collection uh, that I have now. Actually, uh, let me go ahead and talk about that first. So this is the collection that I had now. Uh, these are all the games that I added to the collection since I started. And I started adding games on here little by little and I just, you know, kept adding more and the value was growing so I just added games 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 and it's not I'm not looking at it too much of a profit or value thing it's just I wanted to show you like my cost which is right here my cost for this was about uh, seven thousand uh, dollars seven thousand three hundred dollars for everything that I own as far as Nintendo uh, merchandise for the 3DS so some systems tons of games here that you'll see and I kind of plopped the price of what I paid for it um, and then what they're worth over here. So I paid a lot for that scribble knots. And then um, some of them, yeah, I paid a little bit more for them just because they were hard to find. Uh, some of them I got really good deals on uh, and things that I wanted to keep. And again, everything here that you see is items that uh, were paid for by the profit that I made by selling everything I took home in uh, February. So I just kind of plopped it here. This is how I track my collection. I think there's a few games missing, but. Uh, I'll do that uh, soon since I'm moving. I've got to pack everything that I have in the background. So there's going to be tons of items to um, pack. But yeah, uh, there's just tons of games. Uh, Rhythm Heaven uh, paid for that one, paid a little bit higher. I mean, it's just a game that I wanted to have. Some of them I got in really good deals. Uh, but there's just tons of games, guys, here that um, are in the collection. So these, these are all the games in my collection. Everything I paid for and everything that has been paid for from the profit I made in February. So what I'm going to go ahead and take a look at next is this going to be um, the um, the uh, actual value of the items that um, I took in February. And uh, this is it right here. So as you can see, um, I started plopping games like in October because I was like, well, you know what, let's track it for uh, the videos and for the viewers to kind of look at. So here I started plopping the games here because I knew I was going to uh, go home. So then I plopped everything into um, price charting and during before I went home, after I had plopped everything in there, it's like the word of the day, right, plop, after I put everything in there, yeah, it's uh, it was about an $18,000 uh, collection. 
And that's not including a lot of the items that, that I couldn't put in price charting. So I took all that home and uh, eventually ended up selling it. I ended up selling actually everything. And that's why, boom, the collection went all the way down to like 6,000. And the only reason it went down to 6,000 is because um, I had some other items that I didn't take with me. And then uh, I didn't put any games on here till recently. I started putting back in all the items that I have. So that's why you see like the value increase. And right now, um, I spent about 3300 and I have about almost 10,000 in, in, in uh, merchandise that I can take home. And these are items that I want to flip again. Flip, uh, use that profit to keep buying more items, buy new games for the collection, because we still need about, I would say, about 180-ish games for the 3DS collection, with a lot of them being uh, quite a few heavy hitters that are like $500, and of course, we still have that Barbie, uh, Graham and Glam and whatever nightmare game that we're gonna have to pay a lot for. So <laughs> there's still a lot to do. But as you can see, um, you know, I made a good investment into it, but the return is very good. Uh, on on that investment and that's just again me looking at the way how am I gonna fund everything that I'm buying here Which is a lot. I'm not only buying for the 3ds. I'm buying for the Wii U Now I'm buying for the Vita and whatever else, you know, which is kind of cool because it's me uh, Keeping my idea of hey, I'm gonna build a collection by using none of my money I'm only using money to invest into it, but I'm getting that back when I'm able to sell these products and um, Yeah, we have tons of things as you can see here in this video some of these uh, 3DS systems, uh, we got Wii U games, Wii games, uh, Switch games, all kinds of games guys, just picking up stuff all over the place. And uh, these are all items uh, I'll be taking to flip again, um, and then I'll be using their profit to keep building our collection, and that's just what I'm going to keep doing. And um, just wanted to give you guys a little look at eBay, because <laughs> I'm looking at, uh, what was it, our retro, uh, Phoenix resells videos. And uh, today he had bought a collection that was like $60,000 and he paid like 40 something percent for it, I believe, 41, 42, 42 percent uh, for it. And a lot of people in the comments were saying, well, you know, he kind of cheated the person out out of, um, out of money. But, you know, like he said, it's them coming to an agreement, him knowing what he has in value. And again, I mean, it, it's a lot of work to put things on eBay. I felt that when I went home, I spent like at least a good five, six days with my friend pictures, putting everything on eBay, descriptions, packaging, shipping, that took a lot of time. So that's time versus money. Time is money. <laughs> and then of course, you're gonna pay taxes and fees. As you can see here, um, my total sales just for everything that I took home, those uh, items that I had, which is 181 items, uh, was about $18,000, which is kind of close to what price charting was saying. And then of course, there's the taxes collected and then the selling costs collected by eBay. So eventually the net profit was like 13,000, um, almost $14,000. And then, uh, I mean, it was pretty good. We sold a bunch of items. They sold pretty quick. And it kind of, here kind of breaks it down, sales by category, uh, video games and consoles, toys and hobbies and everything else. And here it just breaks it down, like January what it sold, February, March, April. So this was me, January and February, I was home. So that was me and my friend kind of selling everything. And then here just kind of gives you your selling costs. And then these are the items that we sold. We sold tons of pigments, so we sold 14 of them for a uh, good price there. Uh, tons of Metal Gears, guys. Look at this, 12 Metal Gears for that much. What is it, $1,000 after fees, it was $764. And it was just insane. And then all the complete in box ones, it was $1,000 in profit. And this is all money, guys, that I just am using to invest back into the collection. It's not me like making money out of it, it's just, the way I want to fund this collection and that's I mean the way you can do it uh, there's a lot of ways to kind of uh, look at how to fund the collection there's a lot of products that are selling that you can look at like vinyl records um, that's definitely a big thing shoes but there's a lot of research you have to do for shoes but vinyl records books uh, hit up those uh, local thrift shops uh, game stops are, are now bringing back uh, retro games so you can definitely pick up some items and here's some of those Zelda figures this is so much stuff there's a Pokemon Kid Icarus just tons of tons of things that I sold. I'm pretty sure the, the Pokemon box one is in here somewhere. Might have already passed it. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I think I passed it. Where is it? Sorry, giving people like nausea. Just go scre uh, scrolling so fast. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just tons of awesome stuff sold. And I had a lot of fun doing it. It's just a lot of work. Oh, here's a Pokemon box sold for 2800 guys. After taxes and fees, got $2,200 for it. And I only paid 500 bucks for that game, so that was awesome. 
Um, that game, I mean, I really thought about should I let it go, should I keep it? But I was like, you know, look at the bigger picture. I wanted to build everything you see back here and um, do it again by spending a little bit of money. I'm not very attached to a Pokemon box. It was cool to have it for a while in the collection and kind of like, it's a story that'll always be with me. And yeah, I'm gonna keep buying things, guys. I'm gonna keep flipping um, and building this collection. I mean, I don't know where I'm gonna go. I'm running out of room, as you can see. Pan the camera a little bit here. I got so much stuff over here. Oh, so my soda, my water bottle up there. Um, I already packed some stuff up because I'm moving here out of this place soon. I even bought a new shelf. This one over here. And this one here just has, these are all the items that I'm gonna flip. So it's like all the extra 3DS games, bunch of DS games, Switch games, bunch of other stuff down here and controllers and Wii U games up there. But um, yeah, I mean, everything is being funded through flipping. Um, I haven't in, uh, spent any of my money. Uh, even the big items that I buy is just me taking money from the uh, funds that we made uh, in January and February. And some of the big items that I buy and keep in my collection again are because of funding of the funding from Sally. So just wanted to kind of give you guys a little insight on the way that I'm kind of looking at everything. Uh, I'm learning still, but I'm finding a lot of awesome things to collect. I mean, I'm finding games that I'm adding to my collection that are awesome. One that you'll see in the next video that I'm really hyped up about is this one right here. It's Dragon Ball uh, Advanced Adventure. I really like this one. Uh, I didn't even know it existed. I've been playing it on my Game Boy, uh, uh, my Game Boy Advance, and it's really cool. Um, it's like a kind of like a beat 'em up. You kind of walk around like punching, kicking, and it's really cool, guys. I'm, I mean, I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball, so I've never heard of this one. Saw it up there. I did pay a little bit for it. It was a thousand five hundred RMB, which is like two hundred. $20 maybe or under $200 somewhere around there but again this was not me spending my money me spending money that I made from from profit and it's an awesome game to add to collection so I'm really excited about that uh, that game was awesome I'll talk about it in the next video but anyways guys just wanted to give you an insight into the way that uh, I am funding my collection how it's uh, working and about the whole eBay thing yeah you spend a lot of time again preparing all everything pictures returns um, you know customers reaching out maybe uh, I had two customers who were unhappy with the items that I, that, that they bought it's just they didn't read the description and I didn't want to deal with the whole process of all this so I just let them keep the game give them a refund it was like a $30 game but um you know it's just hey you know next time just kind of read what you're buying and I just to keep everybody happy and customer satisfaction good I gave I gave them that game but anyways guys if you have any questions pop them in the video pop them in the comment section I'll definitely uh, have a look and maybe I can answer something and uh, don't forget to like. Uh, uh, what is it? I'm gonna get this right one time, guys. What is it? Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and the notification bell. I'll get it right one day. And until next time, guys, stay safe, and I'll see you again.